I immediately kicked you then, didn't I? I'm really sorry about that. I promise you that wasn't on purpose. How are we doing, guys? Cool. Uh, well, I'm Jim. It's lovely to be here. Um, before we begin, I have a little bit of news from my life to share. A little while ago, I got engaged. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you, but that's not actually the news. What I was going to say is if anyone here is thinking about getting engaged, I do have a ring I need to sell. Um, <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah, because I'm, um, I'm not engaged anymore. Clearly one very unsatisfied customer already. Um, that that's feels harsh in a vulnerable moment, I have to say. Um, but yeah, I've got to be honest, I'll do it for, you know, for a good deal because nobody wants a second-hand engagement ring, possibly because it sounds like the sort of thing you might need as an ingredient in a curse. So yeah, I'm back to square one, having to start again. Uh, and I don't find that particularly easy because I'm not really what you call an alpha male. I have definitely slept with more women than I've had sex with. Um, but, but you know, you, you learn, don't you? You learn from things like this. You learn a lot about yourself. You know, I, I've I had a very difficult time coming out of that situation, and I, I learned a lot. I learned that we're getting better in this country, at acknowledging that some mental health issues can be as debilitating as physical disabilities. And I've also learned that being caught using a disabled toilet by a wheelchair user is not the time to express that view. <laughs> but you know, we grow, we grow in our own. We grow in our own ways, don't we? So I, I did what you do after a breakup. I moved into a weird flat with a dickhead landlord. Does anyone live in a weird flat with a dickhead landlord? Yeah, it's just a few of you. Okay, fair enough. Well, th that's good. So, um, yeah, it's just, uh, they're, they're, they're a fucking nightmare. They're one of those landlords where they pretend to be morons so they don't have to do anything. And uh, my radiator vibrates, right? And obviously, that's not going anywhere good, is it? So I thought, I'll, I'll try and fix that. And I thought I'd made a breakthrough. A lady called Kathy uh, from, from, the, from the letting agent, she called me up and she goes, Hi, Dean, which is not my name. Um, <laughs> And then she goes, I found a plumber to come and look at the radiator. I'm like, oh, brilliant, great, finally, a little bit of a breakthrough. And then she burped. And I, uh, and I don't mean like a sort of little swallow a hiccup, try and disguise the fact that you've done it. Full on Henry VIII, proud of his own flatulence. It's like, blah, just awful. And so I'm still reeling from that. And she goes, so what I'll do is I'll send the plumber your number, and you guys can take it from there. And then she hung up on me, sent me my own number, and that's the last I heard of it. 